I'm Yuri, Jacob's out with a knee injury, and I'm going for a race car. Hey everyone, Yuri here solo today because Jacob got some knee surgery, he can't drive, and I'm here to drive a 2022 Sentra Cup car. But I'm in the normal Nissan Sentra right now because I got overwhelmed while trying to drive that. We only had four laps to figure it all out, and I completely blew it on camera. I don't know, like anything I'm saying. All right. Oh, that's no good. I dropped my camera, can't remember anything that I wrote down. Oh wow. But this is a lot of fun. I can see racing against a lot of people being pretty crazy. Especially because it's a nice slow car with lots of grip. And my time is done and I said nothing useful. So the Centra Cup is a Canadian thing that used to be the Micro Cup where they would take the production car, turn it into a race car, keeping the engine and the transmission the same while upgrading some other things for safety and racing. It used to be a Micro which was never sold in the States so it didn't really make sense for Americans but now it's the Centra which does make sense for Americans. And for all the Canadians out there they're going to be racing both days at the Castrol Victoria Day Speed Fest back at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park, one hour east of Toronto. It's gonna to be an all Canadian display of racing action with the NASCAR Pinty Series eBay Motors 2000 going on May 2nd. It's gonna have some of our favorite drivers like Gary Clute, whose podcast we were on, Sam Fellows, who helped us out with the Camaro ZL11LE, and DJ Kennington, who actually let us drive his Pinty's NASCAR a couple years ago. There's also gonna be a whole bunch of other racing, but definitely go to check out the Nissan Sentra Cup because it is pretty wild seeing all the Sentras racing at the same time and they still have the Micras racing in the same series as well. And the fun thing is, Sentra owners are able to go watch it for free. I don't actually know all the details, but that's what they told us. So back to the race car. For the horsepower and torque, it has 149 horsepower and 146 pound-feet of torque from a two-liter, four-cylinder, naturally aspirated, which feels weird to say all of this part. I much prefer just to say the horsepower and torque. So now to what the Sentra Cup car actually is before I go over the racing series. They take a Sentra, they charge you 41,000 Canadian for it instead of the 19,000 Canadian as a non-race car. They add coilovers, they add different brake calipers and rotors at the front, they have the SR brake calipers at the back, stainless steel braided lines, and racing brake pads. You'll also get a front anti-roll bar, an exhaust, so let's listen to it compared to the normal Sentra, from the outside. Eighteen inch racing wheels, but I would much rather have some Continental Extreme Contact Force on there, or maybe some Hoosier Racing Tires, which is a division of Continental. Then it also comes with a Motec M1 ECM. A rear view camera is also listed as a feature. It does have an infotainment, so let's dig through that and see what the infotainment on the Sentra Cup car actually can do. All right, if we turn on the Sentra, oh, it showed up for a minute, but I think it's just reverse camera. So if you do get a Sentra Cup car, you're just gonna have to use the SiriusXM app on your phone. Go to SiriusXM.ca or .com slash the straight pipes to get your free three month trial in the visor test but it will fit a small cup of coffee and this e-brake does not work they never said we can't test the e-brake in the normal Sentra
Some more stuff. We've got a cold air intake on the Sentra Cup car, urethane motor mounts and transmission mounts. We've got the Sentra SR spoiler and then a driver controlled limiter for pits, which I think is pretty cool. I've never used one in real life. I think that would be fun. One of the things I noticed while driving that cup car around, there was no shift light which made it kind of difficult because nobody told me that. I thought it would go red because it does have the screen there and everything. So that did kind of suck. It was cool seeing like the exact same shifter and it was way different having no interior. I felt like I was much lower in that and it, it did feel really nice. It felt like it gripped a lot. It was just an easy car to drive. I mean, it's kind of weird that they didn't change the door panels from the stock Nissan Sentra. Uh, I get it because it's plasticky. <gasps> But from outside, it just doesn't look as cool and as silly as the Micra Cup cars, which is kind of disappointing because those Micra Cup cars looked so friggin' cool. But I get it. Reach out to a larger audience. Maybe they can bring the Sentra Cup race series to the States too, because they sell the Sentra there. And then some of the safety stuff that they've added to the Sentra Cup cars. We've got a FIA spec six point roll cage. We've got an FIA race seat, six point restraint harness, electrical fire suppression system, which is pretty cool to see that in the passenger seat down at the bottom, a battery isolator and front and rear tow hooks from straps, which is pretty cool. I also have a tow hook on my Nissan race car, my 350Z drift car, but I just hooked that into the front, which I needed to use when I got stuck in the dirt on my first drift jam day. So then watching the Sentra Cup, if you don't go in person on Victoria Day Speed Fest by Castrol, shout out Canadian Tire Motorsport Park, you can watch it on Facebook Live, and then they recap all of the events on Facebook as well. So look up the Sentra Cup Race Series on Facebook to see the races. They race for 40 minutes, and there is practice, qualifying, and the race, and they race on both days. There's six weekends of racing, and each one of them has two races, and they're also going to be at the Montreal Formula One event this year too. So before I give you my final thoughts of the Sentra Cup car and what else you can get race car wise for that price, if you're looking for your own Sentra, hit up tsp.truecar.com. And if you're looking for a Sentra Cup car, hit up the dealership. And as for the driving experience behind the wheel of the Sentra Cup car, you hear a lot from the car. The added exhaust really helps on the track. My seat position was a little low, so it was hard to see, and there's cameras everywhere, but it did seem like you can kind of put the car anywhere you wanted. It had good grip. It felt good. It felt like a nice, fun race car. Pretty much exactly what I would want if I was starting to race. It didn't feel overwhelming. It was a little bit slow, but that's half the fun. Racing a whole bunch of slow cars is like a lot cooler. It's, it's kind of like racing your buddies in go-karts. It's just like puts you all in a nice even level and it's fun. It's not too fast. It's not too intimidating. The brakes felt good. The turn-in felt nice. It's just really cool to see how much they changed this normal center that we usually find pretty boring on public roads into something that's actually amazingly fun on track and I'm super jealous of everyone running in this series. So now should you get a Sentra Cup car if you're looking to buy a race car? If you're looking for door-to-door -door racing, I think it's a no-brainer. It looks like a lot of fun, but for me, like getting out to every weekend would be pretty much impossible. So what I did instead, I bought a 350Z, which is also a Nissan, that I'm making into a drift car. I've been to two drift events already. I've got a little angle kit, hydraulic e-brake, coilovers, an LSD, and so far it's been really, really awesome on track. I personally would rather spend that money on drift cars and go to drift events. Drift Jam House League has been really fun for learning. But if I wanted to get into door-to-door -door racing, the Sentra Cup would 100% be where I want to start. Even though it's front-wheel drive, it's still a lot of fun to drive. The cars are very cool. It looks like they can take some bumps, take a little bit of a beating. I'm just really happy that Nissan Canada is doing the spec series. I think it's one of the coolest things that any manufacturer could do. It's like the most accessible racing if you want to do door to door. And if you want to watch it live, make sure you check out the Castrol Victoria Day Speed Fest back at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park this weekend for Victoria Day. Make sure you cheer for Gary Clute, Sam Fellows and DJ Kennington in the NASCAR Pinty series. Thanks for watching this fun little video. I had a good time driving that little Sentra Cup car and uh, yeah. See you later, guys. Jacob will be back soon after his knee surgery. We'll be back to driving cool, fun cars, doing stuff with someone next to me.